This crowd is full of candidate Michel Martelli supporters, but the rally is not for him. It's for his adversary, Merland Maniga. Haiti's former first lady seems to have a magnetic personality these days, attracting Martelli fans ready to stir up trouble. There is a risk of clashes, that I don't want, but I cannot step down. Her calm response does nothing to ease the tension, and the campaign event in the town of Mirbelay turns into a melee. As Haiti's presidential election draws near, Maniga is outpaced at every turn by her runoff rival. Sweet Mickey, as the singer is known to his fans, seems to be everywhere thanks to a better organized and better financed campaign. Unlike Maniga, a two-time senator who tries hard to appeal to voters, Martelli barely has to try at all. The crowds feed off his energy and charm and his fame. His entourage, including famous musicians like Wyclef Jean, hasn't heard either. It's not only Michel Martelli who speaks, because when I speak, they laugh. And that's their message to me. They're laughing as a message. We're with you. Thank you for making us laugh. You help us relax, forget our problems. We trust you. Martelli can also thank his outsider status for his slight lead in the polls against Maniga, who's tainted by her past connections as a political insider. We want Baldi, Baldi. We don't want Maniga. Haiti desperately needs this election, and a leader who will gain the trust of foreign donors and rebuild the country. But a new twist could be a game changer. Jean-Bertrand Aristide, the former president still beloved by many Haitians, has returned from exile. He could offer hope in a time of great trial, or keep Haiti stuck in political uncertainty.